one of the UFC's hottest names is one win away from fighting for a title. Welcome into ESPN's MMA Live Extra. I'm Phil Murphy, and I'm joined by my fellow bearded Irishman, Connor McGregor. Connor, you face Dennis Seaver Sunday night at UFC Fight Night 59. You've said you're going to win this fight in two minutes. Your trainer said you would need half that. What makes you so confident in your ability to beat Seaver so soundly? Um, I, I believe two minutes is a fair is a fair prediction to give my opponent, judging by his reactions as he, and his, his his reactions under pressure and, and and his particular set of movements. I feel that the shot I need to land will happen three or four times over in that two in that first two minute frame. So it, it, it is nothing got to do with with cockiness, it is simply uh, analyzing my opponent, analyzing his, uh, his movements, his reactions, and realizing that three or four big, big shots will, the shots that I need to land to put him away will happen in that first two minutes. So it, it will be on Dennis, or on Dennis if he can come through that, but I do not feel he can, and my coach believes it will take one minute, so it, it, it could take the very first exchange. Well, the plans have been unofficially laid for the fight after this fight, potentially a stadium show against Jose Aldo at Croke Park. Dana White also tweeted Monday night it could be in Vegas. With all this title talk, how do you avoid looking past Seaver? Um, yeah, for me, the, the, the title has always been in, in my mind. Every, every single contest, the belt. I, I feel I am contesting for the belt every single contest, so it is nothing new. People... People talk, and uh, I still carry myself the same way. I still, I still go out and I still put in my preparation. I still predict what will happen and feel what will happen truly, um, and and then go out and execute it. So it, it's not hard for me to, to stay focused on, on on the task at hand because I, I already feel like I am contending for the belt each contest. In your first two UFC fights, you were on the undercard. Two of those three since you're the main event. How does your life now compare to when you were first entering the organization? Um, life is good. Life is business is good, as they say. It's the fight business, and uh, and for me, business has been good. So I, I am happy. Um, I tore my ACL after my second prelim contest. So to come back and have this will be my third back-to-back -back contest in the time that many of these athletes have had just one fight. Um, and I will be looking for back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back first round KOs, and I, I believe Sunday night I will add that, uh, add that credential to my, to my list. Well, those in charge have been throwing some heavy praise your way. UFC Chairman and CEO Lorenzo Fertitta said this in USA Today, I hate even saying this, but with his gift of gab and his athletic ability and fighting ability, it's almost like the Irish Muhammad Ali in a way. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, I, I have heard that uh, a few times. You know, Muhammad Ali is a special individual. So I, it, it, it is a weird comparison, but I have heard it a few times. He, the things Muhammad Ali done in the time that he done it, I mean, he changed the shape of, of culture. He changed culture, you know, so I, I, I cannot lay claim to a comparison like that. Muhammad Ali is, 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 is a special human being. Me, I am on my own journey, um, my, the journey of freeing up the human frame, trying to allow my anatomy to move in all ways and, and, and just be loose and fluid in, in, in every single situation and, and, I, and that is it. I just carry on my journey with, with that in mind and, and that is it. Well, we know you don't lack confidence. You also work very hard in the gym. That's clear. As you look to improve in these camps, what area of your game do you want to see the most growth going forward? That's a good question, you know. For me, for, for me since the, my last contest in, at UFC 178 in Vegas, I feel I've turned a corner. I literally feel I, I have a deeper understanding of the game. You know, I don't show up every day, and it's not about going to a jiu-jitsu session, or it's not about going to a boxing session, or it's not about going to a kickboxing session. It's about opening up the, the human frame, freeing the body. My session begins when I open my eyes. Um, I begin to stretch. I begin to loosen out the body. I begin to move. This is what it's about. It's about movement. It's about being able to move in all ways. Um, uh, and that is it. So for me, day by day, I look to get a little bit more loose, a little bit more free, a little bit more control, uh, more fluidity, and, and carry on. Everything else falls into place from that. How do you think that turning of the corner, that freeing of movement, will manifest itself in the cage? Um, I honestly feel like a different animal the, the, these past, uh, since that Vegas fight. You know, I went into that Vegas fight with many injuries. Um, I, I had torn, lig torn ligaments in my tum. I had damaged 
my foot as well. So I, I, I went in um, not as in shape as I could have been, or not, not as, uh, but it forced me to adapt. It forced me to change up my, my, my training because it forced me to focus less on less contact and more, more movement. So I suppose it was the beginning of, uh, of, of a new chapter for me. Um, but I went in, it was a tough weight cut. So when, when, when I got through that fight, um, I, felt, I felt like a new man. I felt like when my injuries healed, and I, I felt like, you know, for this next contest, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in. I'm going to truly, truly get to that next level. Every, every contest, I try and get to that next level. You can, look at, you can look back at every single one of my fights. Never have I stepped in as the same. Never have I stepped in as the same as the, as the previous contest. I always improve. I always have different shots to my, in, in my arsenal. I always move a little bit more freely. Like I said, every day, day by day, more freedom, more fluidity, more control. And, and that is what I feel I, I, I am entering this contest with. Um, I feel more free. Uh, and, uh, and we will see Sunday night that I, I feel this will be a special performance for me, a, a performance that will lay claim that I am. Uh, the featherweight champion. Connor, appreciate the time. Best of luck Sunday night. Thank you, sir. For more uh, on this fight against Dennis Seaver Sunday night in Boston or all other top MMA news, keep it locked right here on ESPN.com slash MMA. For the notorious Connor McGregor, I'm Phil Murphy. Thanks for watching.